Oh, Mary, I just can't help it. I'm just laughing. You know, you've really held me up today. This tonight, I've been working on the bench, and I really wanted to get a little further than I am. But anyway, that's just not important. You making you're killing me because you're talking about. Um, because you know you do this every time. You delete your videos, and then you go in saying that, oh, I, you know, that they did this to you, and they didn't do nothing to you. The reason why you're getting comments that that end with the mayo. Do you not remember the video of you putting a jar of mayonnaise on your head? That was your video. Nobody else's. That was your video that you put out for the world to see. Well, guess what? They saw it. And, and you know, you keep doing things online. And, and of course, they're going to find it because you and James and the other one. Good Lord. I mean, and then you wonder why people are watching you. That's what you put it out there for, isn't it? You wanted to be recognized. You wanted to be noticed. Well, you got noticed. And you don't like it. You don't like it at all. Now you want them to go away. You want everybody to go away and leave you alone so that you can get new people and they'll believe your lies because there'll be nobody out there to tell them otherwise because you deleted everything else. So if they do look, they don't see nothing but the, the comments from other people and the videos from like me and, and the others. That's what they see, and then they feel so sorry for you and give you that little pity until they, till you turn on them and bite them like a mad dog that you are. Oh, the, the, the pictures, I, I mean, the little little slides I get I sent you, you know, you know, I don't know if they're going to help you or not. You can take them to court, will you? Don't worry, I'll be there to explain all of them. And I got plenty more and to help you prove how battered and dirty and with the lice just falling out your hair, remember? You know, I wanted to, there's a lot of them, and they're not all just fancy, you know, going to the studio pictures. They're just regular everyday pictures because I, I had Martha's pictures and I have your mama's pictures now because they're gone, you know, and they trust me with them. And I will use them to, to the good. So just, just know, I, I got plenty more. And I'll be happy to go to court with anybody if you want to, Pick a name, pick a name, any name, and I'll go. I'll be there. Pick my name, and I'll be there with a very big suitcase or something to carry all my stuff in because you need to be stopped. You need to be in a home, uh, like a halfway home where somebody can take over your daily care because you are out of control. And and then the last ones I sent you were you... You know, the, you said in one of your videos, oh, I've never threatened anybody. I've never done anything. Well, Lord, there is plenty of videos still out there that, that you have. I just picked the ones in reference to myself and my grandchildren simply because I haven't talked to anybody. But I'm going to tell you, they're still out there. All right, you have attacked every single one of us. Every one of us. And you have went after us and our families. So don't don't be innocent, and don't think just because you hit you got rid of them or hit them that they're gone. Remember what you said. Even if she gets rid of them, I'm gonna download them, and I'm gonna bring them up years from now. So those children's futures will be, you know, use the F word, which I don't use because it's disgusting. You, you know, you did attack them. You know, and if you'd like me to play those videos and kind of go over them with you, I'll be more than happy to. Because it don't do nothing but fuel to the fire, honey. Fuel to the fire. It's a little too hot today to be fuel to the fire. But, but I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll take it. Because I'm stronger than that. And you should be too. But you're not. You're not. I got to hurry up and get off of here. Because I've got to do just a couple more things. Now, this this little tidbit of information really isn't for you, it's for everybody else, but I had to, I'm rebuilding, I had to rebuild it, and it's taking a little bit more, <laughs> and I still got to re add some more to the bottom of this thing, I had, that's gave me a lot of trouble, but you know what, I enjoy some, I do enjoy, and I love the bench, so I'm trying, I'm not ready to give up on it, because I don't give up on things very easily, when I love something, I work very hard on it, I loved you at one time. I didn't leave you out in the garbage can at the gas pump the day you were born. I, I, I we, we picked you up. I mean, when they took you and your mama in the helicopter to the hospital, we followed. We, we got there as soon as we could. You know, we, we took care of the car and everything in it. And, and trust me, 
Your mama was not back there hotboxing anything, but my mother in the front seat and Martha in the back seat. So come up with a better story. Please come up with a better story. This, the actual story of your birth is is more exciting than the crap you come up with, you know? And then I did, I did find something I thought was kind of funny. Um, Radic, when you were talking about your marriage, but you lied about how long you were together, but that's, that, I got that too. And then you said, oh yeah, that my grandmother had put in air, land and cars and everything in my name, and when we split up, I signed it back over. Show me the proof of that, and you can do that on the Duval County website. You go ahead and show me where that land got transferred in your name and then transferred back to hers. Because you know what, I've been in and out of that system for a while. And I they, that land has never changed names until recently, until it was sold. You understand, it's been in there since, um, I think it was might have been the late 70s when he actually bought it with his first wife. So, tell you show me, because I ain't got no time to look it up again. And if I have to, I ain't going to be happy. But I will, and I'll put it on here. Probably be better if I did, because I'll leave it on here and you'll take it down. And why don't you just open up your comments to me so that I can address you there instead of having to go to all this trouble doing little slideshows and making a video. I can just say it in your comments because I, it would be easier. Be easier. Make it easy for me. And you want to say you're a tar target. You're a group. Um, you're a protected group. Well, I guess I am too, and I guess everybody else is too because we all suffer some kind of mental illness. It's just I don't go to the doctor, I don't take medication, and, and I, I deal with things on my way, because I can't, that's me. That's not anybody else, that's me. I stay busy and do what I need to do, okay? Now maybe I need, I know I need help, and I'll probably go get it. But I'm gonna tell you, there ain't not one of us walking around that hasn't probably been on antidepressants, and has not got something wrong with them, because basically we all do. And, and as far as an, a group, I'm a, I'm a female, a woman, who's over 60. Okay, so I'm pretty protected, right? You know, I'm pretty protected. So play with me, Mary, because I can play the same game as you, and I can play it better. You understand? I can play it a lot better. So don't play. I wouldn't really advise it because, see, I'm getting old, cranky, and tired of losing people. So I'm going to really begin to... T I told you a long time ago when you come after my daughter, back when, at a very difficult time, I told you then that I had a hole in my heart where I had stored the love that I had for her, where where she lived in my heart, which was placed there at birth, okay? And it was filled with love because she was a good soul. And when she left, it became empty, and I couldn't walk because I was unbalanced. It felt like my leg got cut off. And that that's, that has remained partially empty it got filled and then she got she's gone so i'm right back to having an empty home an empty hole in my heart and it can be filled with hate and vengeance and everything that is not good everything that i've never wanted to be but i can fill it up with that and since you're the only one that seems to ever come at me and attack my family and to try to destroy the values and destroy my mother's reputation and mine. And you have done so much. Then, you know, you're lucky because you're the only one left to give it to. And it will be more than you can handle. I promise you, David Ball didn't want to come up against it. He, when I told him the exact same thing, I just told you. He, 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 he kind of backed off. Now, and he carried a gun and was a deputy, you know, back in the day. So, come on, Mary, because people know that have ever loved anyone. They know if that hole gets placed with anger, it is something that will just, just crumble a mountain. So, you just take that to heart. And if I got to get this done, a little bit more done, and I got to go up there and go to bed, but I got to take a shower. You know that running water? that I learned to do when I was just a little kid, you know, hot, cold, turn it on, get the soap, and wash. Yeah, well, I, I gotta go do such a thing. You need to think about doing it yourself, all right? Do it, do it every once in a while. It ain't gonna hurt your hygiene, it's good for you. So go in there and get you some hot work going, okay? And I, I, I gotta quit shaking, because I'm gonna make people sick, and I don't like to go too long, because I'll make them 
you know, I got nothing. I'm just a mess today. So anyway, have a good one, all right?